Give us these troops and we can seize the initiative. It will just be more of the same. The enemy's taken 200,000 killed, and he'll take 200,000 more. We've lost a tenth that many, and Americans are rioting in the streets. They should be cheering. The Viet Cong lost. We were victorious. That's true, Walt, but remember, they only committed 175,000 men to this offensive. Holding enough back to strike again. That's right, Damon, and it could happen at any time. I say put the men in. There are no more trained men. We would ship raw troops and train them in the rear. What rear? There is no rear in Vietnam anymore. I would hope we've at least learned that from this victory. With 206,000 more men, we can go into Laos, Cambodia, North Vietnam, and cut out the supply route once and for all. We have never been given that authority. Excuse me, General. Dean, you said the enemy committed 175,000 men to the offensive. That's right, Clark. And General Westmoreland says that they suffered 45,000 killed with a 1 to 3.5 killed to wounded ratio? It's right here in my report. We beat the pants off them. Then how in hell do we justify to the public sending hundreds of thousands more men? We tell them this, that we're within inches of victory. Inches. 45,000 killed, yes, General? Yes, sir. And three and a half times that number are out of action? It's in the report, Clark. If there's 45,000 dead and three and a half times that number... 160,000. 157,500 wounded, plus 45,000 dead. General, according to you and General Westmoreland, we have killed and wounded 120% of the enemy. 